going on, you guys? Um, you know, I'm going to talk about a couple things today. First, let me start off with the Chronicles of Narnia, Voyage of the Dawn Trader. Um, basically, I love Narnia. Narnia is like a Christian overtone version of Harry Potter, pretty much. And basically, Narnia is my Harry Potter because, you know, I'm not really a Harry Potter fan. You know, um, I, just because I don't like them. Just because I don't read the books or watch the movies, I mean, I don't like it. I can't like what I don't see, right? But I've seen the first movie. And I seen the movie that came out last year, the uh, Blood Prince or something. Anyways, um, Harry Potter, yeah, it's just not my thing, y'all. So if I have any Harry Potter fans out there, you know, don't get offended. I, I, you know, just you know, Harry Potter really isn't meant for everybody. So yeah, but Narnia, Narnia is meant for me, like man, uh, because it's like a be, besides Star Wars, it's another another you know medium that uh, that has. Christian messages and Christian overtones and, you know, Christian theology. Like, you know, they have Aslan representing Jesus. And then they have, uh, like, little symbols like uh, the Pavinces are, like, the blood of Adam or the blood of Eve or something. And, you know, Adam and Eve are the first human beings and they're also in the book of Genesis. So, you know, what better way to represent that and to, to structure it into, into a story? So that's why I love Narnia. And basically what this movie is... Um, the, the message on this movie, the theme, is fighting temptation. You know, you get tempted to do a lot of things. You know, steal, kill, etc. You know, all the sins, all the bad things. But um, this one, you know, I really saw that because... Actually, I can't really tell you because I don't want to spoil it. But yeah, y'all, yeah, go check the movie out. It's a, I give it a 5 out of 5. You know, I always love the Narnia. Uh, but I was confused because uh, at first the first two movies were with Disney and now they're with Fox. I don't know. Um, go see the movie, y'all. Um, I, I see it's number one, but you know the numbers are the, the box office numbers are low. I need y'all to get up out your seats and go see this movie right now. Like after you get done watching this blog, <clears throat> you better road runner out to the uh, movie theater right now. Like road runner, like Sonic the Hedgehog, like uh, uh, Speedy Gonzalez. Anybody fast, you better get out there and go see this movie. Now the next thing I want to talk about is uh. Uh, the VGAs last night, the Video Game Awards on Spike TV, um, um, it wasn't the best. I'll be honest. I'll keep it, a, I'll keep it 100 with y'all. I'm real authentic with it. Um, it wasn't, it wasn't the business, you know? Um, usually when I, y'all know I love war show. I'm an award show junkie. Um, I like award shows to be entertaining. You know, I want them, I want the audience to interact with the show, you know, this one, it, it had some reaction, but it, it, the spark wasn't there, you know, it didn't have enough pizzazz, so, um, I mean, some of the jokes are funny that Neil Patrick Harris, the host, was uh, cracking, uh, some of them, you know, like the, the, the video game porn names, those are funny, uh, but then the other actors, like the presenters, trying so hard to tell a joke, it was like, no, just stop, okay, so, um, to be honest, the real reason why I watched the Video Game Awards last night was just like every other Uncharted fan, was to see the Uncharted 3 preview, you know, the trailer or whatever. I just, I just wanted to see what it was going to be like. You know, I'm seeing all these pictures, like, no, nah, I want to see an actual clip. So, it was it was awesome, by the way. Uh, the link is on the description. Um, other than that, y'all, um, um, uh, VG, the VGAs, uh, I, I guess I can give it a 7 out of 10. Uh, just because um, the spark wasn't there, you know? And, um... Usually, uh, I was I was actually mad too because you know the best hand, handheld game uh, section you know, or category didn't have Birth by Sleep, Kingdom Hearts, and like what? You got all these other little games. I know. Well, no disrespect to Nintendo, but you know a couple of those games were like what? Uh, why are they nominated? Didn't they get the worst reviews? But uh, Kingdom Hearts, Birth by Sleep got the best reviews, and it's not nominated. But shout out to Square Enix, though. Y'all, y'all, y'all good in my books. Y'all are okay in my books. And uh, Final Fantasy Thirteen got nominated, though. It was in a uh, best RPG, but they didn't win. So I'm kind of mad about that. But hey, you know, like I always tell y'all, it, it's not my award show. Because if I made an award show, you know, I pick my winners, I pick my nominees, I pick everything, you know. So, anyways, um, yeah. Without further ado, y'all, subscribe, comment. Uh, follow me on Twitter, and if you follow me on Twitter, let me know so I can give you a shout out on my next uh, blog. Uh, and um, yeah, y'all uh, go out there and have some fun uh, and uh, live life to the fullest. And if you're doing something with your life that you love, keep it moving. Just keep it moving. You know, don't stop. Keep it moving. Okay.
Peace. Oh, wait, hold on, it's off. Peace. <laughs>